Portland's been at the forefront of fashion for some time now. We've had several Project Runway winners and host one of the top runway shows in the nation, but COVID-19 has really changed everything. Ken Body brings us how local fashion designers are adapting in tonight's Where We Live. In any other year, local fashion designers would be honing their collections to present at Portland's Fashion Next, regarded as one of the best runway shows in the nation. But COVID-19 has shut down the show for 2020. So it has been impacted tremendously bad, especially for the small independent designers, which a lot of the uh, designers and uh, brands that participate with us are. Local fashion designers are adapting, and in many cases, moving their production into the newest fashion trend, masks. Fashion Next went with an online mask design competition to marry creativity with the reality of coronavirus. Fashion designers has been at the forefront of that movement. Far from being mere face coverings, masks are now fashion. You can buy face coverings with elaborate designs, infinite colors, logos, even your favorite sports team. Fashion editor and critic Stefan Rabomov says local designers can move the mask concept to the next level as he talked with Fashion Next about judging Portland's mask design competition. So I think of Portland as one of those kind of uh, laboratory hubs where young talent and uh, even established talent can be more daring, more risky, more creative. And as fashion designers look to survive, masks may be one way to stay in the game until things can once again approach normal. And I think this way of presenting ourselves is intriguing because it's a human nature to be curious about what's behind the mask. Ken Body, Coin6 News. And how about this? Ken was a judge for the Fashion Next mass competition. The winning designs will be posted on the Fashion Next website this coming Friday, October 9th. And you'll have a chance to bid on the winners with proceeds going to COVID-19 relief efforts.